It's been a long time since we've talked about flooding potential, but there is a flood watch in effect for these counties in green for tomorrow, and that takes up most of central Texas. It only excludes San Saba County, and there are parts of the Brazos Valley that are not in that watch. But again, that's for tomorrow, and it's because we have uh, some potential for some streams and small rivers to be swelling, some urban flooding possible with the rainfall that we'll be getting for tomorrow. As we go into tonight, there could be a little bit of some shower and thunderstorm activity up here on the northern fringe of our viewing area. That's where the front is hanging out for now, but that front is going to be sliding through the region tomorrow, and there's plenty of water in the atmosphere to work with, so it's going to be churning out quite a bit of rain. Here you go uh, along this frontal boundary, and there's going to be some heavy rain with this at times, some thunderstorms too. This model's a little late. It doesn't have it getting to Waco until 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. I think it's maybe more likely that we could be seeing the rain in Waco by 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. But either way, through the day, this is going to be working down to the southeast. So eventually we'll get down there into the uh, Bryan College Station area with some rain, uh, even lesser rain kind of behind the main front. So we could be getting a good period of some rainfall. And that's round one. Round two is going to be some redevelopment of showers and storms behind the front. And that's generally going to be for, I'd say, Waco and south, although areas north of Waco could get that too. Certainly the more likely rain on Tuesday is going to be falling down towards Bryan College Station with some thunderstorms as well. What is that all going to add up to? Well, between late tonight into Tuesday evening, it's all going to add up to about one to four inches of rain. Now that's that's the range. Generally, we could condense that and say I think most of us getting into that two to three inch category there. And, and that's great news. That is some very beneficial rainfall. It's going to take more than that, of course, to eliminate the drought, but maybe this will help make some headway. Our temperatures will change as well. 88 in Waco tomorrow, and then it's going to take longer for the rain to get to Bryan College Station. So we'll have the 92 there and then 80s for Tuesday and Wednesday, slightly warming up towards next weekend.